guys, today I'm just going to be doing the makeup look that I wore in my last Q&A video. It was highly requested um, for me to show you this look, so yes, let's jump right into it. I'm just going to start off with the eyes. All the eyeshadows that I'm going to be using are from the Naked palette. I'm going to be using um, Naked, Buck and Half Baked, which are these three kind of very neutral shades. So I'm just going to start off with Naked and just take a little bit of that on a MAC 217 shot. Just pop that one through the crease. I have already obviously done my foundation and concealer and things. So just popping that through the crease and then just kind of winging it down a little bit. Then we're just going to take a little tiny bit of um, the buck which is just kind of naked, just a little bit warmer tone, a little bit darker um, and we're just going to pop that towards the outer kind of V just to give the crease some kind of depth and then just drag whatever you have left just in. So now taking the same brush I'm just going to dip my brush into Half Baked which is this colour here. This to the lid. This shade is absolutely gorgeous. It's the best gold eyeshadow that I've found. It just is so pigmented. I'm just popping a little bit of that in the inner corner. I'm going to take this Real Techniques Duo Fibre Brush just to kind of blend out the outer edges of the crease just to make them really soft. And then we're going to go in with this brush and just add some depth where it needs it. I don't want this look to be too heavy and like a smoky eye. I want it to be very soft and kind of just a focus on the gold. So I'm just going to take some buck on this brush here and just add that into the crease where we want some depth. Then if you just wipe off all the excess gold eyeshadow from your 217 I just like to go in with Buck on just a bigger blending brush and just really just blend that all out once you've got the depth where you need it and then just blend the rest out I'm going to take a mixture of Buck and Naked on this small little elf um, eyeshadow brush I think it's called a smudge brush actually and um, I'm just going to smudge that along my lash line love adding the crease colour to your lash line um, just because it pulls the look together and just makes everything look really soft and blended. Then take a little bit of half baked and where you've just popped that in the inner corner just um, join that up to the front of the um, buck that we've just put on the bottom. I'm not going to do any wing line or anything I want to keep this look very minimalistic because I am putting on false eyelashes so that will kind of clump up the eye anyway and I don't want it to be too dark I want it to be very focused on the gold eye so we're just going to go in with a little bit of mascara and then I'll apply my eyelashes the mascara that I'm using is the no clumps mascara from collection I love this mascara it's very natural looking and separates your lashes really well which is why I like using it before um, I apply false lashes the false lashes that I'm using, I'm sorry, are really dirty, but they're just from RC Cosmetics and they're just these type. It says 821 on there, but I have a different pair and it has that number on there, so I don't really know what you'd call these, but yes, so I'll just apply some of this and this and I'll be back. Okay, so now I've got my eyelashes on. As you can see, they are still drying, so you might see some glue, but yes, they just give such a gorgeous, like, winged out dramatic look and I absolutely love them. So now we're going to move on to cheeks. For my contour I've been absolutely obsessed with Benefit's Hoola Bronzer and using the brush that it comes with so that's what I'm going to be using. This brush just makes applying your contour so easy because it's just a contour in a brush. You just literally just have to go back and forth so it makes it really really easy just to get a nice outline. Still with Hoola Bronzer, just so I kind of stick to the same colour bronzer, I'm just going to take this Duo Fibre Brush from Real Techniques and just go around the perimeter of my face with this one. Just my blush, I'm going to be taking Max Mineralized Skin Finish Blush in Warm Soul, which is just this gorgeous kind of golden peachy shade. That on a Real Techniques blush brush. 
just kind of from the backs of my cheeks. This is just the kind of blush that just goes with every look, like, I just absolutely love it. Using the same Joe Fiber Brush from Real Techniques, I'm going to take my um, Mary Luminizer from The Balm. Um, I was kindly gifted this from the girls at The Balm, and I absolutely love it. It's honestly just my favourite highlighter I think I've ever used. It's just the most gorgeous gold shade. Now on to the last step and that is the lips and for that I'm just using the Rimmel London um, Cape Moss lipstick in the shade 01 and it's just kind of a deep red shade so I'm just going to use that all over my lips and that will be it. You can stop here and just apply a nude lip that's what I do pretty much every day. I is the finished look guys natural gold eye with a lot of contour and um, a red lip which is nice for Christmas So I hope you enjoyed that video guys. Uh, if you would like me to do more kind of makeup tutorials, get ready with me's, then that's what I'm going to kind of aim to do. I really enjoy filming them and I love showing you what I wear on a daily basis. So yes, link video ideas down below. Any video ideas for Christmas, I really need your help. I've got a few ideas, but I need some help for them. So yes, I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.